Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. And today we're looking at Frank Warren's statements regarding Daniel Dubois. And Frank Warren says Daniel Dubois would beat Dillian White right now. Hmm. Interesting statement as reported by the Metro. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, so, Frank Warren believes that heavyweight sensation, Daniel Dubois, would beat Dillian White if they fought this year. So, Daniel Dubois picked up the biggest victory of his career so far, weekend, weekend gun, by knocking out fellow British heavyweight prospect Nathan Gorman in the fifth round at the O2 Arena in London. Oh, that's not uh, Gorman. There we are. Dynamite Daniel Dubois took his record to 12-0 and 0 with the crushing defeat of Gorman and cemented himself as the brightest young British past prospect in the division. The 21-year-old is still less than three years into his professional career. But when asked if he could beat vastly more experienced White, Warren was very bullish. I'd like to see him get a few more fights, but he would beat White at the moment, the promoter said. He was, a sen he was sensational. It was a big step up for him. Only his 12th professional fight. And he was in with another unbeaten fighter in Nathan Gorman, who was 16 and 0. They all said it was going to be a fight between a boxer and a puncher. And I kept telling people, Daniel can box as well. He controlled the fight behind a superb jab and obviously, obviously knew he was the bigger puncher. He did an absolutely marvelous job says Dubois' promoter, Frank Warren. Okay, White is 25-1. and one. And this Saturday he faces Oscar Rivas, 26-0, and 0, for the interim WBC heavyweight title, which should guarantee him a shot at the WBC champ, Deontay Wilder, in the coming months, if he emerges the victor. However, the heavyweight division is somewhat clogged up at the moment, with White already agreeing, with Wilder, sorry, already agreeing his next two fights. First against Luis Ortiz, and the second with Tyson Fury, which should take place sometime in the first half of 2020. While Andy Ruiz is set to defend his WBA, IBF, and WBO belts against Anthony Joshua, later this year. That's a picture of Oscar Rivas looking in good shape for his uh, bout with Dillian White tomorrow. Well, Frank Warren goes on to say man man mandatory challengers may have a long wait for a crack at any of the belts, but Warren believes Dubois will get himself in that world title hunt in 2020. So he's looking to push him on is looking to push him on in 2020. The guys who have been waiting, they'll be in their positions to challenge as mandatory challenges for the title, Warren continues. I expect Daniel Dubois to be involved in those fights sometime next year. Okay, very bullish words by Frank Warren. He's talking about he expects Daniel Dubois would beat Dillian the body snatcher white right now. Um, <laughs> do I take his words seriously? I don't know. I don't know how to take it. Daniel Dubois certainly has knockout power, but to expect him to be able to deal with the craftiness of what is a relative veteran in terms of experience compared to Dubois. That's a bit much. That is, who is that? 
Is that the reincarnation of Tommy Morrison? What the hell's going on here? Is this guy challenging Tommy Morrison? Cha channeling. Is he channeling Tommy Morrison? Remember Tommy Morrison? Yeah, I think he was in one of the uh, one of the Rocky films. I don't know. I stopped at uh, I think I stopped at the second one, or was it the third? Yeah, I probably stopped at the second one. I'm not really much too much into into sequels and prequels and etc. 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 Yeah. So Daniel Dubois is a young prospect. Is my assessment. He needs to be developed slowly. It's kind of strange for me to hear Frank Warren talking about him being in title contention in 2020. What's that? That's next year. We're now currently in 2019. We're halfway through, over halfway through. So more realistically and more sensibly, I would say that the proper course for Dubois would be to take him on slowly and gradually. I think next year, this year should be still focused on the British. Well, no, no, no. We can take him on to some fringe, some fringe guys for now. Fringe guys for now. Uh, what, top, top 30 guys maybe? Top 30 guys maybe. Maybe top 30 guys. But um, as a matter of fact, let's do this now. Let's do this live. Let's have a look at the heavyweight rankings. Heavyweight rankings, box rec, box rec. Yeah. Ratings, box rec. Okay. Let's look at 50. Down. F.A. Ajagba, Ajagba is 50. Marius Wack, David Price, 48. Otto Wallin. Tony Yoka. Hmm. Martin Bacoli. Chris Ariola. Romain Stavern. Michael Hunter. Is it Michael Hunter solo? Really? Now, yeah. Brian Jennings is 37. Oh, this must be new. I think he's dropped down. I think he was like 28 last time. Brian Jennings must have dropped down after his last two were uh, Joe Joyce. Robert Telenius is 34. He just fought last weekend, I believe. Yeah, it was last weekend. Pretty sure. Ajit Kabayal, 29. Carlos Takam, 27. Joe Joyce has moved up from 18. I think he was 28 last time. He was 28 and Brian Jennings was 20. 7 or 26. Daniel, hold on. Daniel Dubois, 27. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's moved up to 27. So these guys are behind him. That's very interesting. But for sure, I think Arthur Spilker. Yui Fury at 20. Hmm. That would be an interesting fight. I think you could take Yui Fury out. Joe Joyce, 2018. Philip Pogovic. Yeah, he's a bright prospect. You don't want to be messing around with him right now. Those fight, that fight's for later. Gerald Washington. Interesting shout. Christian Hammer. Dominic Griesel. Another interesting shout. Adam Kawanaki. Also now, oh, we're in the top. Okay. We're in the top 10 now. Forget about those guys. Forget about those guys. Hmm. To be continued. I'm going to do a second video looking at uh, who Daniel Dubois should be matched up against. Okay. Okay. So, no. I say no. My conclusion. Forget about, forget about, <laughs> forget about anybody in the top 10. Let's go back to the first page. Forget about these guys. Andy Ruiz. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Alexander Povetkin. Forget about him. He's not done yet. Dillian White, number six. Don't know how Povetkin's above White, but anyway, that's a bit strange. What's going on? 
Well, it's a point system, isn't it? Dillian White, 4, 407. Alexander Povetkin, 437. Hmm. Jarel Miller. That would be an interesting one. That would be a cardio battle. That would be, well, that would be a very interesting fight. So, to be clear, I'm not saying that... I'm not saying that Kubrat Pulev, another interesting fight. He's at nine. Joseph Parker at ten. Yeah, forget about him for the time being. I would fancy Dubois against Miller. That would be a cardio battle. And he's top ten, but... Hmm... Yeah, that's for another conversation. That's for another video. That's for the next video, maybe. Okay, so, where are we? Daniel Dubois would beat Dillian White right now. I say forget about that for now and focus on the lower ranks. Get him bedded in with experience. No need to rush. Don't need to rush the hustle. Absolutely no need whatsoever. Okay, so it's Raphael Dawkins, it's the combat radio, it's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comment, it's the share, and it is that hitting that bell icon, and I'm out.